Well, 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 here at Apple, we certainly were impressed by our reception at New York. I mean, we were only halfway through patting ourselves on the back when the audience went wild. And they are the best team on the planet. <laughs> Poor old Tim didn't know what to do. Anyway, let's get to the shiny things. Today, I'm so excited to introduce the all new iPad Pro. When designing the iPad, we knew that we had to kill off the home button. So the first thing we did was pop that bad boy off, tie a noose around it, and sell it to Google. We then used that money to install our Face ID system with advanced technology, like an infrared camera, flood illuminator, and a brand new and improved Comic Sans. Wow. And of course, you don't have to worry which way you hold it because it will unlock no matter what the orientation of your face. Straight. Okay. Gay or straight, everyone's welcome to hold the detachable peen. And while you're there, why not tap it on the tip to unlock some features? Don't worry if it runs out of juice because it'll attach magnetically and charge wirelessly instead of before, depressingly. But it's not only the outside that got a change, the inside's got a performance boost too. In fact, the iPad Pro is now capable of Xbox One S graphics, thanks to its all new A12X Bionic chip. And three times as much money. So you better look out because this will make gaming on the iPad better than ever. Because it'll now be able to play the most graphically intense mobile ads available. But if you do have a dollar do spare after buying the iPad Pro somehow, well, why not pick up the latest game from 2K, where it appears Greg and his team were able to achieve such incredibly high fidelity by trapping a physical NBA player right there in the liquid display. And the realization of their torturous new existence can be seen right there on their face in unprecedented detail. I tell ya, not since Space Jam have we been able to capture basketball players quite like this. And this thing is a monster. But it's not just games, you can actually run full desktop applications on the iPad, like the fully-fledged Adobe Photoshop. In fact, with Photoshop's new fart around feature, you can convert your three gigabyte PSD files into a $1,000 greeting card. It goes three dimensional. Isn't that beautiful? And it's these professional features that make us number one in the world. Just have a look at this graph that shows that we sell more iPads than all our competitors sell laptops. This makes iPad not only the most popular tablet, but the most popular computer in the world. What's a computer? Oh uh, yeah, the reason we now classify iPads as computers is because if you call them tablets, then you find out that we're actually fourth in the world and that there's three companies who sell more laptop computers than we sell all of our computer computers. Introducing the all new MacBook Air. Okay, look, I know it might be a little hard to get excited about our computers, especially since they haven't really changed in 10 years. I mean, people were even bored during our promo. Throw me a frickin' bono here. Anyway, it finally has the retina display that you've been asking for. And count them, two USB type FU, uh, I mean C ports. That's one whole port more than our MacBook computers, which means you can now charge it and plug something in, meaning that you can get more work done unless that work involves audio, video, PowerPoint, a keyboard, mouse, uh, shush. But it has other great features, like it borrows the MacBook Pro's shallow keys and the part of the touch bar that people actually want, the Touch ID. So I guess you could say the MacBook Air 2018 is made out of 100% recycled IDs. But really, don't blame us, I mean, we had to give all our ports to the frickin' Dr. Evil in charge of the Mini Mac. Don't mess with me, I'm one crazy mofo. I had to pop a cop because he wasn't giving me my props in Oaktown. Finally, what better way to close the presentation than with the amazing musical performance by the wickedly talented Tim Cook in a Car.
the all-new iPad Pro, Mac Mini and MacBook Air, now made with 17% less substance. In fact, we were thinking of calling it the new iPad Pippin, in respect to Scotty Pippin, who was the first sucked into the iPad. Uh, there's no escape. Punk it down. Well, 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 here at Apple, we certainly were in pla- there. Ah, ah. Finally, what better way to fuck? Mm. <laughs> Though, if you do somehow have a dollar reduced spare after buying a new album, 